Anna Whitelock and I'm head of the history department. I am so delighted to be able to offer congratulations to the class of 2020. Wow, you did it. You have finished your degrees, you have achieved against the odds. The class of 2020 are going to be known, yes, for the class for the year who took all their exams in the midst of a pandemic, but more importantly, they're going to be known as the class that achieved regardless. You are going to be known as a group of students who were determined, who were tenacious, who succeeded against all the odds. You will be known for doing remarkable things in unprecedented circumstances. You will be a class to watch. People will want to see how you do in the years that follow, and we certainly will. We are hugely proud of you. I'm hugely proud of all that you've achieved. I've watched you uh, over the last few months. I've spoken to many of you, um, heard from many of you. It's not been easy for lots of people. Um, you've been juggling so much, but you did it. And we are very, very proud. We look forward to staying in touch with you, hearing how you're doing. And most importantly, perhaps, we look forward to celebrating with you in person as soon as it's safe to do so. Congratulations and enjoy yourselves. Reflect on what you've achieved and enjoy the moment. Hello, I'm Andrew Yatishki, Professor of Medieval History. I'd like to congratulate all our finalists on graduating in such difficult and challenging circumstances. I'm sorry I can't be with you on the day. I hope to see you next year when we run a real graduation, but please do stay in touch with the department until then. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Daniel Beer from the History Department. Uh, just a quick message uh, to say congratulations uh, to all our students, and especially to my students uh, who uh, acquitted themselves so amazingly well uh, under the very, very tough conditions um, that have uh, shaped the end of this year. Um, well done, everyone. Uh, please stay in touch, and we look forward to celebrating with you in person uh, once the wretched pandemic uh, allows us to. Um, best of luck. Warm congratulations to all graduates of the 2020 class, and in particular, our young historians. This was an eventful year marked by the introduction of, of the new schools in our college, followed by the strike, the outbreak of the pandemic, and the responses against racism across the world. What we experienced is the importance of unity, responsibility, and solidarity. And what you have hopefully learned all these years of your studies is that what guides us in the pursuit of knowledge is faith, honesty, humility, and humanity. We hope you have now acquired a deeper and wider knowledge and understanding of the world, including our inner world. We must use this knowledge and understanding for the improvement of ourselves and society in which we belong, for the common good. A few more thoughts for our graduates in the School of Humanities. In our present world and academic environment, the study of humanities, including classics, history, English, foreign languages and cultures, and all related disciplines, find themselves in a defensive position. Metrics, statistics, and utility dominate the discussion over their practical value for our students and society. This is not new. It has happened also in the past. More than half a century ago, for example, in his introductory address to the delegates of the Third International Congress of Classical Studies in London in 1959, the great scholar Professor William Guthrie citing the eminent Hellenist professor Gilbert Murray, responded to similar attitudes as follows. After all, he said, we scholars are not like the students of physical science. We do not make great inventions or world-shaking discoveries. Discovery altogether, the actual advance of definite knowledge, 
plays with us a rather modest part. We are like one of those ancient societies called Theasy, a company of disciples or students who study the works of their founder, burn incense on his altar and keep his memory alive. We keep alive the memory of Homer and Sophocles, of Aeschylus and Euripides, of Plato and Aristotle, of the Stoics and St. Paul. We burn incense on their altars and keep their thoughts from dying. A society without history cannot understand what it is doing, and history without scholarship cannot understand itself, for scholarship is just the understanding the intimate understanding, with imagination and with love, of the noblest things of the past, the great thoughts, writings, doings, aspirations, which still live, but live precariously, because they will die if they are not understood, die if they are not loved. With these thoughts, we would like to thank you for all that you have received and offered to the College through your love for your studies and I wish you wholeheartedly good luck in your journey to Ithaca, which we hope it is a long one, full of adventure and full of discovery. Finally, let us remember our dear colleague, friend and eminent historian, Justin Champion, who recently ended his journey in this world and will always inspire and lead us through our own odyssey. Congratulations and warm thanks again to you all. Hello class of 2020, I'm Dr Emily Manktelow, Senior Lecturer in Global and Colonial History in the History Department and I want to say many congratulations on graduating during this, let's call it, an unprecedented crisis. You may have heard that term before. I am absolutely bowled away by how much you've been able to do at the moment and how you've achieved under these extremely difficult circumstances. I am genuinely inspired by all the work you've done. Congratulations on graduating and I look forward to celebrating with you in person once we can have our rescheduled graduation celebration. Take care. I'm Kate Cooper from the History Department and I wanted to just give you my warmest congratulations. You've done such an amazing job under unusual circumstances. Um, we're really looking forward to celebrating together as soon as we can. And in the meantime, hooray for you. Hello, this is uh, Marcus Dexler here. Um, I've been teaching some of you on drawing the line uh, and various other team taught courses. My uh, congratulations for finishing under very, very difficult circumstances. So well done to you. And um, even though we can't celebrate uh, together right now, I very much hope that this will be possible at some future date and we can have um, uh, a nice uh, graduation ceremony in person. And I also very much hope the, to stay in touch for future ventures like masters and other interests you might want to pursue. Thank you. Well done to you. Bye. Hi, I'm Rob Priest from the History Department. Just wanted to say congratulations to all the students graduating this year. You've done an amazing job under the circumstances, which were certainly far from easy. And we really can't wait to celebrate with you in person. Hope you have a great summer and see you soon. Stay in touch. Hi, my name is Jonathan Phillips from the History Department. And congratulations, you've got your degree. A great achievement in normal times and even more so given the adversity that you faced in finishing. I'm really sorry we missed the opportunity to say goodbye and I hope to catch up with some of you down the line. But even though you finished your degree in this slightly sort of strange situation, I hope you don't forget the fun and the excitement of learning in your tutorials and your seminars. I certainly enjoyed your ideas and your energy and I hope you found it rewarding too. So all the very best. This is David Gwynn speaking from a very quiet Egham. Congratulations to everyone graduating. At a time of unprecedented challenges, you all coped magnificently. Whether I taught you in person or just assisted with your module choices, it's been a privilege. All best wishes for the future, and do please keep us informed of where your lives and careers may take you.
Didn't expect the year to go like this, did we, Jackie boy? Oh well, either way, I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm proud of us, we've done an amazing job, and I'm sure I'll see you guys hopefully very soon. But either way, have an amazing summer. Congratulations everybody on finishing your degrees. Completing your degree is difficult and stressful enough at the best of times, let alone in the middle of lockdown and a pandemic. So I'm so proud of all of us for what we've managed to achieve. I'd personally like to thank my family for all of their support as I ended up completing my degree quite unexpectedly from home.